<clears throat> you got a sudden urge to run away. You just want to drop everything and leave. You know what I'm saying? Life not really what you expect it to be. You bored, you lacking any new experience, any nuance. You know what I'm saying? Relationships seem shallow or non-existent. Maybe you have no friends and just don't fit in. Whatever the case may be, you want to go. Your heart lies somewhere else and you don't know where that is. Let me tell you this. No matter where you run to, you'll never be happy. You could go to the most aesthetically pleasing spot ever. You know what I'm saying? You'll still be sitting there depressed, wondering what's wrong, what's happening. You don't really want to run away. You just want home to feel like home. You know what I'm saying? And I want to talk about that for a little while. I hear a lot of people nowadays, especially on social media and stuff, talking about they don't fit into society and people not like them anymore. And, you know, like they got this idea that they real, like they just so different that it's impossible for them to connect to anybody now. And I want to say that that's just 100% wrong. And like, I hear a lot of people saying, oh yeah, if you're different than somebody, then you, you know, you on a different path and you this and that and you chosen and you under, blah, all this. I believe that you feel so different and distant from everybody because of untreated symptoms of, of, of pain. You know what I'm saying? Due to whatever happened to you in your past, it caused you to withdraw and you feel isolated. And the more isolated you are, the more lonely you feel, the less likely you are to bond with people, you know? You wouldn't want to run away if you had something here, if you had something worth coming home to. That's the only reason you want to leave is because there's nothing here for you. You know what I'm saying? But even if you left, it'll be nothing there for you. It's all internal. All of it. We aren't so different after all. Like we all are unique and we all have our own. We got one spark within us that's different. But other than that, we all the same. And I can tell you from when I was younger, I used to want to run away. I used to want to just be somewhere else. All that went away when I found people that I really cherished and loved. Now it gets to a point sometimes I don't want to leave because it's like, this is life, this is home. And in order to do that, you gotta first put your guard down, man. You gotta put your guard down. I feel like a lot of people are hyper-focused on the differences between us and not the similarities that we share. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I'm gonna use an example. And I think it's called tribalism or something. I don't know. But humans tend tend to put people in groups based on certain things. And for better or for worse. But, for example, you may see a Republican or a Democrat. I'm not political at all. But you may see a Republican or a Democrat or a certain football team, basketball team, uh, a certain person of a certain religion, whatever it may be. And you may assign them certain categories certain categoristics characteristics you may assign them certain characteristics that they don't have because you assume that everybody in the group has those characteristics you know oh he he's this so he must be this and what that is 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 creating separation between you and the people around you and you do that subconsciously sometimes without noticing it and that's what's creating the distance between you and your peers and that's why you can't bond because you talk about one thing and they don't relate to it but that don't mean that you don't you won't relate over something else. And maybe they do relate to it. And the way that they relate to it is strange because it's different than what you've seen someone else relate to something. Maybe you don't know how they're trying to get their message across from their perspective. And maybe you're so insecure that you're taking one thing as another. You're taking 
uh, indifference as criticism. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot that goes into it. But I can say that I don't think that you don't fit in because society is bad or messed up. I think that you don't fit in because of you. And I think it's your fault. You know what I'm saying? And in the same way, when I didn't fit in, it was my fault. And I'm not saying that to put anybody down, but I got to be real. A lot of people blame society for their inability to fit in and form connections and bonds. And it's getting to a point where now everybody want to run away and leave and, and, and escape. They want something better. But what that's doing is just pointing the finger. If, I, if we all blame society and use that as a scapegoat, we'll never be able to look within ourselves. We'll never be able to say, you know what, maybe I'm the problem. And, maybe if, and, and that's the beauty of it. Because if I'm the problem, then I can fix me. I can't fix you. I can't fix society. So if society is the problem, sure, I, I avoid myself of all responsibility and accountability. But at the same time, I can't fix that. So therefore, I'm keeping myself trapped in the same mental state that I've been in. But if you blame yourself, then maybe you can fix that because you're you and you can help you because you're you and you know what you need. So then you can supply yourself the needs that you need and get better. It's not society's fault that you can't fit in. I don't care how many people you see on their phone. I don't care how many people you see talking about topics that you don't like. I don't care how many people do whatever, this, you know, people might do things entirely different than you ever did. You can still relate to them. And I can say when I was lonely and depressed before the Lord, you know, the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, before he saved me, I was depressed and I only saw the differences in others. So I didn't bond with anybody and I didn't even feel connected with my closest peers, my closest people, my best friends. I still felt a little bit of separation from them. and I'll even go farther. I felt separation from myself. I didn't even feel close to myself. But once I stopped blaming others, and once I took that accountability, and once I prayed, and once I worked on myself, I don't care how different somebody is, I could relate to something about them. And I could spread love in some way, shape, or form. You know what I'm saying? And I can make a friend out of anybody. And that's the words I'm speaking in my life in abundance. In the, in the name of Jesus. That's what I'm speaking for myself. And you can speak whatever word you want. But just know your tongue holds the power of life and death. You know what I'm saying? I don't care how bad society get. You know what I'm saying? It's full of love with me. It's full of abundance. And that's what I want you to say. You don't want to run away because of, of, of whatever. You just want home to feel like home. You know? And that means you got responsibilities. And that means you got to handle some of them. And maybe you, you know, caught up in a job you don't like. And maybe you dealing with some people you don't like. I'm not saying every single person you're going to be able to relate to every single time all the time. Because sure, it is some toxic people out there. It is some people who only want to do negative. It is. But more often than not, we blessed with abundance. You know what I'm saying? And with that mentality comes that reality. And with that that means we need responsibility. We have a responsibility that we need to take. You know, straighten your orders up, straighten yourself up. You know, work on yourself, better yourself, get healthy, exercise, you know, and, 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 and if you got a bad job, do something about it. Maybe you gotta make some phone calls. Maybe you gotta have some meetings, you know? Maybe you gotta change jobs. If, if you don't have a relationship, maybe you need to get one. If you don't know how, maybe you need to learn. Maybe you need to, you know, talk to a thousand people and get rejected 999 times until that one person say yeah to your ass. You know what I'm saying? And you, and you, and you sitting there happy again, you know, but it's some work that need to be done and running away, not the solution, because no matter how much you run, you can't run away from yourself. And that's why you want to run away, because you are empty. You lack the substance that only you can find within yourself. You know what I'm saying? I don't care if you on a, a white sand beach, you're gonna be on that crying because it's, you you still lack the abilities to be to be normal, and you gotta gain those abilities with yourself, but with accountability and practice. It takes practice. You gotta get rejected thousands of times. You gotta put your foot out there. You know, put your foot in the door. You have to. 
join a club, join a, a group, join something, go out and do something, say yes to a plan, go to a party. Even if you're anxious, do it, then do it again. You know what I'm saying? Go to a bar and talk to somebody. Go to, go on a walk, go, go, go to a class, go to an art class, paint and sip, meet somebody. I don't know. Go to a, go, go kayaking, do something. If you don't have people to do it with, do it by yourself until you meet people who's doing it there also. You know what I'm saying? And you meet them and you do it with them. And that's how you build community. And that's how you form foundation by going out and doing stuff and talking. And when you talk, focus on the similarities and not the differences. You won't feel different. What you focus on amplifies itself. If you focus on the differences, you only see the differences. But if you focus on the love and the abundance and the peace and the positives, you know what I'm saying? Then you'll, then, then you'll see that. You know, maybe she don't like anime. Maybe she don't. Maybe, but, but maybe y'all got the same favorite food. But it, until you ask that, you'll never know. Keep asking. Ask questions and be interested. And maybe, and maybe the things you have in common aren't that much, but maybe your hearts are aligned in the same place. Maybe her personality just vibe with yours. Maybe she could just make you laugh and that's enough. You know, don't expect too much. We're not going to find somebody who's perfect. We just need somebody who's enough. That's what humans are for, just forming connections that are enough. The rest of it, we fill in ourselves through our, you know, through our own minds and God. You know what I'm saying? Go out there, meet some people, be afraid. You're going to be scared. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Go out there and just do it until you ain't afraid no more or until you turn that fear into excitement. You know what I'm saying? But go out there and live, yo. Get out your head. When I started living, life felt real. And, and no matter where I am, I'm in abundance now. All thanks to the Lord. Find peace. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Music channel link in bio. I love y'all, man. I love you. And always, praise Christ.